Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Egypt. Today's the day we are going inside the Great Pyramids. Woo! It's going to be a good day. <laughs> we are here. Welcome to the Great Pyramids of Giza, everybody. It's massive. It is so unbelievably big. So, of course, this is the biggest for the Pharaoh Khufu. <laughs> I have to put the name up, probably saying it wrong, but this is actually one of the natural wonders of the world, this gigantic one just here. And honestly, this video is doing it no justice. It is humongous. Ready? a pyramid. Wow, wow look blocks are big. how big these blocks are. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Can't believe we're here. I know I'm going to be saying that all the time, but wow. We can't even see the tip when we're right up here at the base. inside two pyramids you can actually go inside the big pyramid that we were just at and you can go inside this one and so we decided to go in this one just because you have to bend down and walk for a whole minute in this one but the other one's like two minutes and I'm like I don't know if I can go in a tiny hole for two whole minutes so a minute is good and they also said the other one is really smelly <laughs> I can't believe we're going inside a pyramid, Steve. I didn't realize you could go inside. <laughs> like, I think this is ultimate bucket list right here. 4,500 years old. And we're going inside. We're going inside a tomb. I just realized. That's so we're going true. into where he was placed, the pharaoh. Wow. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa, this is crazy. <gasps> Whoa. I thought it was steps. It's actually like a... It's like a slope. Wow. Oh my gosh, you have to bend so slope. Oh. Whoa. Okay, this is like living out my Indiana Jones dreams right now. Whoa, Steve. Thank God. This is terrifying. <gasps> my sluggies. Oh my God, Steve. I'm so hot and scared. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing good. Oh my God, there's some engravings. My heart is racing. This is like... Scary claustrophobia. Oh my gosh, you have to be done again. Let's go. You're doing fine, Jess, I promise. Oh my goodness. How far are we going right now? Oh, is this Whoa. it? This is the burial chamber. So as you can see, there are so many other rooms. This one's locked off, but there are so many other chambers. That was so interesting. I think I had a different expectation. There weren't any hieroglyphics that we could see. Yeah, they were, no, they were like plain walls. They're quite and plain. they said that we went around 12 meters down into the pyramid. And then the tomb where the pharaoh is, it's just like plain walls. Like I thought it was going to be yeah. really like elaborate. I suppose they would have filled it with treasures back in That's the day. That's the thing, and yes. I feel like you don't know as well how much was taken out of the pyramids. Oh, there could course. have been like gold on the walls and they've stripped it clean. You never know. But that was... So I can't believe it. We've been inside a pyramid. Also, I want to show something to you guys. So see the top here. See this material? That's what the pyramids used to look like. They used to be smooth with like a white limestone looking color and just erosion has made it fall down. But it's cool because one of the pyramids still has some of the limestone. We can imagine what it looked like back in the day. Wow. Oh my gosh. You should come here and film from here. Hi buddy. What's his name again? Alex. Alex. A L E X. Can you touch him? Just touch him from the back. From the back. From here. Alex? From here? Yeah. Aww. Hi Alex. <laughs> Look when he's smiling. <laughs> he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, like this. Aww. It's a cute <laughs> 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 like the 
three big main pyramids here at the Pyramids of Giza, but it seems like there's like the three main ones and then there's all these little ones around. There's over 120 pyramids. Uh, he said 220, I think. 220 pyramids. Oh no, we have to confirm. Who's right? 120 <laughs> or 220? In all of Egypt. As always, I'm, I'm not sure why I was expecting a lot of tourists, but like with Petra, the Lost City of Petra in Jordan, there's no one here. Like literally, this is one of the wonders of the world and I can maybe see a couple of hundred maximum tourists here at the pyramids. Something else that I was surprised about is that this side's the pyramids and literally just down the road is Cairo. Yeah, right there. I didn't realise the town was going to be so close that like you could literally walk from the town to the pyramids. So close. I thought it was going to be like, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, they've literally built the entire city around the pyramids. Alrighty guys, we're about to walk in to see the Sphinx. This is actually the entrance. So you walk through here to get to the Sphinx. This used to all be under sand. So even the Sphinx. So when the first explorers came, they didn't know it was here. And they found it later when they were digging. But how amazing are like the pillars and stuff and the... Look at the stonework. So this is all one slab. When they constructed it, they, they didn't even put the construction materials to stick it in. These have just placed on top of each other. Alrighty guys, here's the Sphinx. It is huge. I feel like I, I did think it was going to be bigger though, like I said yesterday. But I, I still, feel like when photos, I come here, like look how big... When you come up to it, yeah. I wish we could come right up to it, but they're actually currently um, restoring it. So they're using the original materials and putting it back together. But it's crazy how this whole area was under sand. Yeah, so this is meant to be the body of a lion, so you would fear the animal, and then it would be the face of the pharaoh, so you'd respect it. Also, fun fact, fun fact with is that the nose is currently in the Louvre, and the beard is currently in the British Museum. Yeah. So you can go and see it. Also, last fact, they carved this entire thing out of one piece of stone. Wow. The oldest pyramid in Egypt is 150 years older than the pyramids of Giza. And these are original, made out of limestone, these columns. And this is the walkway to get to the pyramid. So before this temple, they were originally making temples out of mud bricks and then Imhotep, the architect, was saying to the king, why don't you make a pyramid out of limestone? And this is kind of the changing point on when they started making these structures that last thousands of years. There it is. They're currently constructing it to try and make it so it won't fall apart. This is like when they used to make pyramids more out of like a step pyramid rather than the ones that we see today at the Giza. Just casually walking out of a 4,650 year old tomb. Seriously, these crowds in Egypt though. It's <laughs> literally only our group. We're a group of 17, by the way. And that's it. That's, that's it. all there is here. They only just cooked it now, so it's like fresh bread. Really? Yeah. Oh. And? It's like a pita pocket. Kind of. And then that's baba ganoush and falafel and tahini. Oh, yeah. oh this looks so it's good. I love how they've given us chips. <laughs> Got some falafel, some rice, some baba ganoush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eggplant. Eggplant, sorry, the bubble ganoush is over there. I've never tried these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with rice. Let us, like, Let us know what it's like. Oh, those eggplants mm. are really good. That's definitely where you want to set up. Mmm, <laughs> that's yummy. Oh man, lunch was super cool. We're just out here next to the pyramid in like kind of a little oasis and we just went inside a tent. <laughs> This is our tour guide. <laughs> Super yummy as well. They gave us some magician food. Mm. So 
they call them papyrus institutes, but this is where you can see the locals are writing in hieroglyphics onto the papyrus paper, which is super interesting. And of course, if you want to get your souvenir, if you want to get your name written in hieroglyphics, this is the place to go. Wow, so this is real papyrus. That's so cool. That's so cool. We had to get some. We weren't even planning on buying anything, and then when we saw it, we were like, okay, this is really cool. I think we need to get this. You know, our future home one day. Literally, papyrus from Egypt on our wall. So, this is what we got. So, this is the paper. So, they showed us how they make it there. So, this is what we got. So, it's a story in Egyptian. So, we have King Ramesses just here, and I'm so sorry, I forgot. This is um uh, the goddess of Ibis, and he's bringing her flowers. And if she accepts it, they will fall in love, and obviously she's accepted it, taken all of the flowers. So yeah, this was about 50 Australian dollars. It's yeah, we got big, like the bigger one. It's maybe an A3 size, of course it's not proper standard. This is yeah, so you can, cool! You can see the paper, the p actual papyrus. Like I can't believe, like this is, a, I don't know, I thought it was a really cool thing to get. But anyway, guys, you're wondering what we're on right now. We're going. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We are now on a night sleeper train heading down south. So if you want to see this entire Egyptian series, we're not just checking out the pyramids. We're seeing everything. Make sure you hit subscribe because the next episode is coming very soon. Thanks, guys. It's a really cool looking station. Yeah. And we're waiting for our train. We are heading to Aswan. So it is a 12 hour train ride overnight. They told us that a lot of the time the trains aren't on time. So I'm really interested to see what time we actually arrive. And they all made off, sticky jacket, and they all just say.